When you're friends with scientists, you never know when you might be called for a sciency mission. Like helping chart undersea volcanoes in Hawaii. And studying the habits of tropical fish. Now, George had some time to relax. George, can you come out and play? Ah! Huh? This was the first time Allie had shown up for a play date in a box. If Allie was out here, who or what was in there? What's in the box? Oh. <laughs> Where'd it come from? Is it for you? Can we open it? Uh. These were all questions that George had, too. Fortunately, he knew someone who knew all the answers. <gasps> Where'd that box come from? <laughs> it was here when I got here. No address? No return address. Hmm. Maybe it fell out of a truck. There's one sure way to find out. <laughs> no, I, George, wait. I, I didn't mean we should open it. Huh? We don't know who it's from or if it's for us. Allie's right. It might have fallen off a delivery truck. Oh. You know what? I'll call the delivery company in town and see if they know anything about it. Lost and found? I'd like to report a package I found in my yard. Oh. A box that big? I'll bet whatever's inside is the most awesome thing ever. It could be anything. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. Hi, George. Allie. What's in the box? We don't know. A mystery, huh? Yeah, we aren't allowed to open it or move it. All we know is that what's inside is this tall and this wide. <gasps> hey! My goat is this tall. Maybe it's a goat. A goat? Huh? Why would anyone mail a goat? Hmm, mailing an elephant would be too expensive. They weigh a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Allie gave George an idea. If they knew how much the box weighed, that would give them another clue about what was inside. 20 pounds. Huh? What weighs 20 pounds that could fit in that box? Oh, I know. 20 pounds is what a 20 pound goat weighs. Huh? huh? I'll show you. Allie's right. A 20-pound goat weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> then again, 20 pounds of anything weighs 20 pounds. So, it could be anything. I keep thinking a 20-pound goat. Maybe because you've been looking at one? If only there was a place you could see every 20-pound thing that would fit in a box that size. <laughs> then he realized there was. <laughs> it was called a store. First, they needed an empty box the same size as the one at home. Good thinking! This way we'll know if a 20-pound thing is too big or too small to fit in the box. Ah. Luckily, the country store had everything. Pillows were the right size. But George needed to find something heavier. Weights could fit too. 
definitely more than 20 pounds. <laughs>